We're in a period of great transformation for Florida Hospital. In our future, we will be responsible for the health of our community. Now, we are today, but our traditional model has been a hospital to receive people who come to us for care. And as we look at the future of health care and our responsibility for the health of the community, we have something going on around us that is affecting and changing the health care system in America. The Affordability Care Act of 2009 is a huge piece of legislation that attempts to launch many things that transform our health care system in America. And among those things is increasing insurance coverage for a lot of people. Now in Florida, we have the largest proportional number of uninsured people in the entire country. These are our neighbors. These are people who are working hard, participating in the economy, but really are not participating in the healthcare system. This is a group of people who are qualified through the Affordability Care Act to get insurance through federally funded coverage. The problem is that the Supreme Court gave states the decision power on whether or not to provide insurance to these people, even though the money is provided largely by the federal government. So we now stand at a point where our neighbors in Florida, that's 1.1 million of our neighbors, have a chance to get coverage and become part of our health care system. But some things have to happen in Tallahassee before that will be real. I know you're compassionate people, and by now you're probably wondering how you can get involved. And at the end of this message, I'll tell you how. The Florida Senate has a proposal in the works. It's called the Healthy Florida Program. And this program would extend coverage to these million people that are what we might call the working poor. But the House has its own proposal. And this proposal does not use any federal funds and provides very minimal coverage to these people. And it only covers about one-tenth of the million people that the Senate plan covers. The reason for the difference is the House does not want to use federal money and they don't believe that the government will come through with its funding. However, it's important to note that the federal government has never failed on its commitments on Medicaid funding to the state of Florida. The Senate plan would be a big help to the residents of our state who are struggling to get by. Most of the people covered under this plan have a job, sometimes two, but they're low wage, part time, or they work for a company that uh, can't afford to provide coverage for them. They just simply cannot afford insurance for themselves or their families. If passed, the Senate Healthy Florida program would bring $52 billion of our Floridians tax money sent to the federal government back to this state over 10 years to help pay for this coverage. This money was originally intended to expand Medicaid and there's now the ability to use this money I think in a better way and that is to purchase insurance for these individuals through a private model. By bringing this money back to the state, money we Floridians have already sent out of the state also creates jobs, 55,000 jobs statewide. I don't reach out to you this way very often, but supporting the Senate plan is the right thing to do. There's only days left in the legislative session, so the time to act is now. It's the right thing to do for our neighbors, it's the right thing to do for our economy, and it's the right thing to do for our state. So to let your legislators know how you feel, visit the Florida Remedy website. There will be a red Get Involved button on the front page that will allow you to contact your legislator right from the website. Thanks for your time and thank you for taking action.